Good morning and happy Wednesday. It is a wonderful Wednesday. Welcome to January 6, 2021. Woo, the year is just flying by. We're already six days in, almost a weekend. So let's get started for today. Everyone, please stand, take off your hats and stand for the pledge, nice and tall. Hands on your heart. And here we go. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now our star pledge, I am safe, I try hard, I achieve, I am responsible and respectful, I am and will always be a star. All right, if everyone could please have a seat. We're going to continue on with our morning meeting. We will not be going very long, quickly through this. So please remember these are the six character pillars. Trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and citizenship. So we are studying the character pillar of responsibility this month. And I thought it would be a great idea to study superheroes because there's not too many people that are more responsible for their community than superheroes. They really take it seriously. So here's a little picture of responsibility. Do what you are supposed to do and set a good example. That's pretty much the whole gist of it. Now, Spider-Man is the one that we've been studying lately. And we talked about how his Uncle Ben said to him, with great power comes great responsibility. And if you want to be a strong leader, you will take responsibility and you will take care of those around you. You will try to make your world a better place. So today, about when we talk about Spider-Man, one of the other things we want to talk about him is how he had a really hard time deciding who he was going to be. It's very important if you're going to be responsible that you be who you are, not who your neighborhood neighbor is. And I need to take this out. Uncle Ben did not say that. So I'll take that out real quick. So when Spidey got catapulted into superhero kingdom by his the radioactive spider, he struggled with his new identity. Like, who am I? Who am I supposed to be? It took him a while to figure out if he was going to be himself, the geeky, smart, compassionate, shy kid, and still be a superhero. Like, how am I going to be able to do that? Because to be a superhero, to be a leader, sometimes you need to be assertive. And when you're shy, it's hard to be assertive. I, believe it or not, was very shy in school to the point that when my parents would bring people over to the house, I would run and hide because I didn't want to talk to them. And I would actually get sick to my stomach. I was so shy. But as I grew older and I became more confident in the person that I am and I found out who I am, then for me, it became a lot easier to be more outgoing and then to become a leader. So Spider, most of us, you know, we get thrown into leadership roles, like through a similar struggle, like myself. I never did plan on being a leader. That was not my goal. I love teaching. I still love teaching. I wanted to stay in teaching, but I have this thing where when I see something needs to be done, I'm like, come on guys, let's do it. Well, that person that's saying, come on guys, let's do this. They become a leader without even thinking about it. So, um, I don't have to be a different person to be a leader. I can still be myself. I can still be, you know, as a matter of fact, I have to be myself. If you are a leader that tries to impress other people, you're going to make poor decisions. And you have to be a leader of your life. You may not be telling others what to do or what direction to go or leading them, but sometimes we just lead by example. So it's important that you use the gifts that you have. And not try to copy what other people have. Be who you are because you are special. And you are special to me and to your teachers and believe it or not, to your friends and definitely to your parents. So I hope you have a great day. And remember, what do we always say? Stars, stars. That's right. We shine bright. Have a great day, boys and girls. I will see you around the school. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday. Woo woo.